If you're cruising with MSC to their private island, this video is for you. I'm going to give you 15 fast facts that will help you have a better trip. And I'm going to share some footage I took during my recent visit. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello, I hope you're having a splendid day, and if you're new here, welcome. I've been to Ocean Key twice, and it is pronounced Key, I believe. Ocean Key is MSC Cruises' private island, and it is exclusive to MSC guests. Unlike other private islands, Ocean Key doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles like water parks and zip lines. Instead, you feel as if you've been dropped off on your own private island. Of course, there are amenities, but I'll get into that shortly. Ocean Key is in the Bahamas, and it's only about 65 miles from Miami. The island has miles of white sand beaches and gorgeous turquoise waters. In fact, the island has eight different beaches. So now that we've covered the basics, let's dive right into my 15 fast facts you should know before you go. Number one, the ship docks right on the island so you don't have to tender. That means you can walk right off the ship onto the island. Number two, once you get off the ship, you can take a complimentary tram around the island. On my most recent visit, trams were few and far between, but they do offer them, but you may have to wait. Number three, you need to bring towels with you and beach towels should be in your stateroom. If you don't have them, talk to your stateroom attendant. Number four, also you need to bring your key card to get on and off the ship and to pay for certain things on the island. And don't forget the sunscreen. Number five, Speaking of sunscreen, there is not a lot of shade on the island. So if you're heading to the beach, you're probably going to need to rent an umbrella. And yes, you do need to rent them. At least you did when I was there. So get your umbrella before you go looking for your perfect spot. And side note, you have to carry your umbrella. Loungers on the island are complimentary. Number six, the lighthouse is the perfect place to go to relax. There are comfortable seating areas where you can soak up some rays and hang out with your family and friends. It's a quick and easy walk from when you get off the ship, about five minutes. There is also a large bar right there where you can get drinks. At night, MSC puts on special lighthouse shows where the lighthouse is all lit up and it's set to music. Number seven, your ship Wi-Fi and drink packages work on Ocean Key, so you can sip and surf on the island. Number eight, lunch is provided. There is a big buffet near the center of Ocean Key, but there are also several food trucks scattered around the island where you can grab a burger, fries, a veggie burger. When I was there, I had a really good pasta salad. Number nine, a few food items do cost extra. One of the food trucks on the island offers seafood for an extra charge. They offer items like lobster grilled cheese, a lobster roll, and ceviche, and these items are around $10 each. But most of the food offered by the food trucks on the island is free. Oh, and one more thing, be sure to eat breakfast before you get off the ship. Number 10, there are some nice shops on the island. I was pleasantly surprised. They have jewelry, clothing, soaps, purses, all kinds of things. And these shops felt more like boutiques than a straw market. The shops are close to where you get off of the ship. And in most of them, you do need your key card to pay. They don't take cash or credit cards. Number 11. Near the shops is a bar that most people don't know about. It's very large and in my experience, never very crowded. I've waited quite a while to get served a cocktail on both my visits to Ocean Key. So if you just want a place to sit and have a few drinks, this is a good bet. And it has a beautiful view of the harbor area. Like the shops, this is a quick walk from where you get off the ship. Number 12, you can rent kayaks, floating beach mats, paddle boards, and snorkeling equipment on the island. To save money, you may want to bring your own snorkeling equipment. Number 13, there are excursions available if you are not the just lay on the beach all day type. You can do things like jet skiing or scuba diving. To see a list of the available excursions, go to MSC's website. Number 14, there are special amenities for yacht club guests. These guests have their own beach and their own restaurant. The dining venue has upgraded menu options like short ribs and brisket and mango cheesecake. Number 15, 
Finally, the lagoon is a great place to swim. The lagoon is located between South Beach and North Beach. The water is always calm. If you have kids who want to swim, this is the place. The lagoon is one of the more popular sections of the island. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. If you like my content, it really helps me out. Have you ever been to Ocean Key? If so, leave me a comment and tell me how you liked it. If you'd like to talk MSC cruises with me just a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might find interesting. The video on the left is my most recent cruise on the MSC Davina, and there were some hiccups. And the video on the right is my full cruise review of my first time on MSC, if you want to hear my initial reactions. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.